Hello, Bellogan here, continuing our playthrough to level 99. Last video we hit level 50, and today I'm super excited because there is a lot to do. We've again had server reset, which means there are new bounties to do, new daily rewards, and our missions have reset. So first on the docket for today is we need to farm some missions. Remember, we've only got 70 VM right now, and in the Vanguard Quartermaster, we're shooting for this uh, payback DHYB, which costs 125, so I'm 55-ish short, somewhere in that range. So that's gonna be our first uh, objective, is we're gonna farm up a bunch of missions. After that, we're gonna do the Poseidon's Mark quest, which gives an incredible special weapon that we'll use the rest of our way to level 99. Uh, there are two easy bounties to do today. They both give a red memory for the Python Master and the Nymph Leader both on Earth, so we'll tackle both of those as well. Once we get that done, uh, we'll go through upgrading our gear, and then, uh, rather than Titan farming, I'm gonna try something I've never done. Uh, we have, because we've done bounties, we have a couple tokens to get in the dark arena on the moon, which I hear is pretty good experience uh, for uh, people just getting there for the first time on their first playthrough. So we're gonna check that out and, and see what it looks like. So, Let's dig into mission farming. I have a specific video on this, but basically before I do anything, I'm gonna come seed my missions with things that are gonna be pretty easy to do. We're going to use one item, sell a special ammo, come home, and then I'm gonna to go to the code breaker and we are going to decode and then dismantle a memory. Now that I've done that, I'm also gonna come into my gear here, and we're gonna change my weapon to my Kratos. It's my weakest weapon that I have right now. And then we're gonna to go to Earth. Uh, just somewhere. And we're gonna start uh, running through as many missions as we can. All right, I got my first mission for a chest here. That's not a great first mission. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. 1 AC. Okay, 19 drachma. To do this, I'm just gonna come in and sell something cheap again. Let's see, where was my special ammo? Okay, I'm gonna patrol around again, get this to repop, sell one item. So that one's easy to do. And this is going to be, again, just a process for farming missions of doing the bare minimum to get what they're asking for. Kill a Titan. That one I'm going to skip as well. I don't want to burn too much AC, but we know we're getting a lot back with uh, doing the XP cores. No, we'll use an HP one. Um, we're going to get enough of that AC back just with our, our daily missions. I don't mind skipping a couple just to keep the easy missions up front so we don't stack anything too bad. Because you get something like Kill a Titan, well, you end up getting a fair amount of experience and drachma from that. I'm just gonna say okay for the moment. I was like, oh, that primary's got a lot more attack, but then I've got Kratos equipped, so no doubt. <laughs> Nothing excited about it. We won't dismantle it, though, until we get a mission to dismantle. So when I'm farming missions, I may spend the first 30 minutes of the day doing something like this. All right, 52 experience here. I'm gonna just try to attack something for my Kratos. 30 experience, all right, two attacks. That gets us that. 77 drachma. I got us more than that off of one attack. 121 experience. There's a lot of chests here today, huh? Uh, three, four, that should do it. Two battles. That's a link here for two battles. So this is the gist of it. Um, I'm gonna keep farming missions now until I have a reasonable amount done. Uh, let's see, I need a little more experience than that. And already I'm kind of doing some things that are maybe you know, increasing the number of attacks I could have done. So I haven't been the most effective. I'm just gonna sell a snowball. All right, that's 500 drachma. Uh, special ammo. So 
this takes a little bit of time. It doesn't necessarily, yeah, skip you Titan. It doesn't necessarily help. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not gaining lots of experience with Drachm at the moment, but those Vanguard marks are gonna be pretty important. Other experience, we'll just use one sphere here for that. Um, for my power later on in the game. You know, getting to level 65, I don't think it's gonna take all that long once uh, once we get our gear upgrades and we're going to the dark arena. So it's possible we may even want to have all of that done today, which is a big part of the reason why it's important to keep mining that. And uh, we're farming these missions. See, 165 damage, special. Hit a guy with the shield for special, that made that one pretty easy. Uh, let's shoot two spheres. We'll see where we're at here in just a moment. Break the shield, okay. You are broken. One kill. Uh, let's go for this guy. Nine battles, I can probably get nine battles in on this guy. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, taking cover counts as battles. And a thousand damage. Shield break should get me there. Yep. Two items used. Uh, Drachma cores. This is one reason why I don't like to just use all of my items at the end of the day because I want to be able to. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is have those items available to help me farm missions early on. All right, a thousand Drachma. I can probably get this from you. And just hitting something. Uh, probably not you. No, that got us there. All right, 2,000 damage. A couple heavy wax should do that for us. Ooh, I went way over 7,000. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, 17 battles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. See, I need just a couple more. 15, 16, 17. Run away. 4,000 damage, all right. Uh, let's hit some heavies. So I'm getting enough damage now, I might want to switch to my normal primary weapon, we'll see here. Use three items. One, two, three. experience. Let's see, I can probably get that one, two, three. And then a mini XP sphere, will that do it? Come on, don't lag on me. And I'll probably get another regular one here. All right, really quick, let's, uh, five items used. Let's use all my evade cores. And let's hit point core, that'll be five. Troll, look around, 23 battles. Let's come and see how close we're getting now here. So Postmaster, I'm gonna collect all 80 some odd items I had in here. 110 Vanguard marks, and we needed, we said, Payback too. We needed um, 125, so only need 15 more. So we're getting pretty close already. A lot of that we're gonna get through the day. Oops. Let's go ahead and wrap up. Just doing a couple more of these though. So 23 battles, and just come crank these out really quick here. Has a little over. Six items used. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we need one more. There's another core here. Alright, 2000 drachma. 
that. Let's see what this chest gives me if I whack it a couple times. It'll probably get me just about there, so considering using items for that. All right, three kills. One, two, three. 33 battles, someone with a lot of hit points. One, two, three. Maybe could have gone for one of those guys with the shield, but Let's see how close this gets me. So you can see here, I'm only really spending maybe 10 minutes up front on this, and I'm gonna have done, you know, over about 50 missions pretty quickly on this. So we started at 70 Vanguard marks from 110, I already have 40 done. All right, nine LP. Let's just use two of these guys. So you can do this per hero uh, on your account as well. So if you have multiple heroes, it makes it very easy to farm up a lot of missions. Um, there's some of the event gear that's been put in that's a couple thousand. And so those could be really helpful to use multiple heroes to farm up pretty quickly instead of taking a ton of days to do it. One shield broken, two shields broken. And items used. We got lots of heavy ammo. Let's use 10 heavy ammo. Not use them? Yes, use them. Alright, 45 battles. Here we're getting something that's gonna take a little longer again. Kind of count these out. Nine, ten. It's not how many clicks I get, it's how many register. That's always a common mistake. People think, oh, it's showing me clicking really fast. I'm battling really quickly. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean you're getting all of those registering service site. Uh, but any attack, any dodge, even if you miss, that's still a battle. All right, 55, that was pretty quick. 5,000 experience. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. No, 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 no. I got XP orbs. We use one of these and this guy. There we go, that was easy. 59 battles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think after this, um, we're going to be close enough what we want to do, we're going to go ahead and jump over and do the abandoned satellite quest next. So let's just wrap him up. Let's come back to Acropolis. We'll see how close we were. Collect all 23. Yeah, I'm only like two missions off. That would be pretty easy to do. All right, abandoned satellite, or not abandoned satellite, we're doing Poseidon's Mark. So this is on Earth and is here at the Erechtheon, probably saying that wrong, Poseidon's Mark. So again, this has a ton of endings. They have these uh, trigal fish, horse, and bull, or the trident sigils, sigils. Those are just emblems, but this trident of Poseidon is what we really want, and that's what we're going for. So that's the, the main ending on this. And basically in this story, we're going around and touching marks in order. Touch the form. So first you go to the southeast corner, or southwest corner, then we're gonna go, yeah, we got that one, east, north, to the southeast corner. Touch the form, go north, go west, north, west, I mean go north all the way, west all the way, touch the form, go east, go east. Um, I think I'm gonna go south, east, east. There's a couple squares that kill you, so you gotta be careful. North, touch the form. Then I'm gonna go south, west, west, north, touch the stone. And then I go north, west, north, sit in the chair. And then we got the riddle here, right? Sit in the chair and hear the words that I never was am always to be no one ever saw me no one ever will and yet i'm the confidence of all so that's you know, it's tomorrow should be pretty easy to figure out all right why do i rave about this weapon so much let's take a quick look at it here coming into my gear we go back to the weapon uh, my highest attack weapon that we were using this guy 
So you got a power of 1463. And look at this trident. 310 power, attack power. So as a special hitting shields, that's gonna rock things. But then look at these perks, 130, 125, 149. Those are uh, insane. Those are so good, it is absolutely ridiculous. Just for comparison on that, if you look at gear that is the top of the top gear, so that's your, your yellow gear, I don't even see on here yet, you can't get to level 99. And you look at the maximum percent perk is 149% when you're at deco level 99. Uh, we get that on defense, now it's got some weird infusions, those are these white numbers here. Um, this could have been put in all defense or all attack. If it was me, I probably would have put it into all attack percentage. So the infusions are kind of spread out, but still, this is crazy. Uh, watch how my power is gonna jump equipping this guy. 400 points alone, and that's not counting everything else that we're gonna get from uh, how quickly we're gonna be able to kill things, more critical percentage, an XP buff. It's just huge. So this special weapon will last us all the way up until, until level 99. Um, let's see, oh, I'm still on my Dark Drinker. Okay. Let me come take a peek really quick back at the Acropolis. Let me see what kind of gear we got in here at the moment. Do I have any red gears? I still got this primary, this special. So at the moment, I don't have a whole lot in there to try to boost my power with just yet, other than just, uh, you know, some of those purples are probably better than what we have. But let's do these two bounties. I'm gonna hit the Python Master first. These guys were on the moon. So we'll accept him. And let's go to the moon. And we're looking for Python Masters. Let's just see how we fare really quick against some of these Titans. Yeah, this guy's pretty tough. You see, I'm really just cutting into him now. A lot more attack than I'm doing. 32,000 experience. That's a lot more than I was previously getting. Uh, Prometheus probably, before I upgrade my armor, is probably still a little bit beyond what I can comfortably do. All right, let's not get too sidetracked. We are, after all, looking for Python Masters. And there's one, and we need to get 20 of these guys. Now, this is a little bit more of a, a rare, rare, I should say, spawn. Um, hopefully there's more than one or two that spawn some locations, or else this could end up being one of these pain ones. There's a Python Master, there's another Master. All right, so a few here right off the bat. That was encouraging. You notice I one-shot killed that Titan with my special. That actually becomes a problem when you want to get overkill on him. So we may go into our settings and turn special back off on shields when we're trying to Titan farm specifically um, because you don't want to one-shot kill them. You don't get as much experience for uh, blasting through their shields that way. You want to knock their shields off and then kill them with a, a special. All right, we're at four. Master. The other thing that we'll do before we upgrade our gear, um, because I'm at level 50, there is some more that we could buy from the weapon shop. I think will increase our power. Not worried about that for these bounties just yet. We'll take care of that here in a minute before we go and try to upgrade our gear. but I really want the two red memories that were from these bounties before I do that. Uh, let's see. Where are you, Mr. Master? There's one. I'm gonna grab these chests just because it's a habit. Ooh, Sacred Boar. Can't, can't trap them unless you're on test yet. Um, test is... for people who subscribe to pay the five bucks a month. Um, I'm not doing that on this account, I am on my main account, or for a hundred dollar donation, you can get a lifetime subscription status. But killing them, if you run into them right now, is still useful because your chance to actually catch them later on uh, increases as your card rank goes up. So I'm looking for Python Masters. Oh, I skipped one there. All 
right, I'm just gonna sit tight and we'll probably speed up the rest of doing these two bounties. And then we'll, uh, we'll check back in once those are done and see what we can get for equipment upgrades. You notice my habit here, I just like to hit chests and titans as I jump around from areas. It's not registering my click, that happens every once in a while. I'll just refresh the page. And all right, we're gonna go ahead and cut that little bit out. <laughs> we didn't know, I don't know if that was my end of the server side, it could have been mine. Seven more, we're getting closer. I missed one there. There's one. Four more, we're almost there. Getting close. I think that finished it. Yep, yeah, that finished him. Back to the Acropolis, Bounty Tracker. That's a master. Oh no, I still need some. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, I need two more still. My eyes are playing tricks on me. And there's one. Need just one last one. There we go. Okay. Leaders, these are on Earth. That Winter Dreg was a pretty easy one to do as well, but it didn't give any red memories, so I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, leaders, leaders. Let's see how we're faring against some of these other bigger boy titans. Yeah, tier five was a little rough. Nice to get a killing blow on that. All right, we're going back to looking for leaders. shortly so if we get a few lugs, lugs uh, lags that is just a uh, developer fixing things on the back end here last time inside this was gonna happen I think yesterday with the email things it really wasn't very bad we'll see what happens but uh, yeah Firestream's a very active dev he interacts a lot with the community uh, you know being solo it takes a while to get some of the upgrades a lot of us would like to see you know it's not a triple-a game with you know hundreds of people working on it but um, just the, the dedication that he has to it has made this a really a really fun game overall that's uh, held my interest for years and years uh, in various forms. And many other people's as well. I've got two leaders here. One of them's going to be off my list. There's that guy. All right, halfway there. Uh, 
All right, we've got eight more to finish this up. When that happens, I think we will wrap up this segment and we'll do our equipment upgrades and the dark arena next time. Let's see, another leader, six more to go. I know I missed one in there. Three more. Almost there. One more. Where's the lucky guy gonna be? There he is. All right, that will finish that up. Let me just check really quick boosters. I do have a defense booster, so that will be good. We come back to... Acropolis here, pick up this bounty. All right, so that's our setup for the day. You know, we're about 25 minutes in. We did a ton of missions, you know, some 133 Vanguard marks. So that will help a ton when we get to level 65. We did two bounties, we did a story, we got one of the best special weapons for early game. And that's a good stopping point. So we'll see you next time.